Nick Ferrari at Breakfast on LBC. With Zero, giving businesses of all kinds the tools to take care of the numbers. Your questions answered or ask the expert broadcaster psychologist Emma Kenny. And the next question is Helen in Wolverhampton. Helen, you're on the radio. What's your question? Good morning. Good morning. Um, a month ago, I uh, unfortunately, my sister died um, unexpectedly. Um, so thank you. Uh, sh- I live in Wolverhampton. She lives down in Sussex. Um, I self-isolated for a week before this started officially uh, so that I could go down to the funeral but when we got to the Sunday where I was going down I decided that I couldn't go because I didn't want to take anything down to my 80 year old parents and I didn't want to bring anything back to my family Uh, so I I didn't go Um, and my parents didn't go either in the end Um, I also missed my sister's last call because I suffer from depression and I was a bit down and I didn't call her back Um, (sighs) My question is, I guess, is that I am feeling so guilty. I know she wouldn't have wanted me to put myself at risk, but I feel so guilty for missing that last call and for not going down and saying my goodbyes. Let's get Emma straight in. Emma. First of all, just to acknowledge that that's an awful loss to go, and you can tell that you're younger, so it's very, very serious when you lose somebody so unexpected because it just you're not prepared. You know, we're never prepared for death anyway, but when it's something traumatic and young, we really, really connect with that because it feels like the world's become even more fragile and vulnerable. So just to say that, first of all, to acknowledge your grief. Secondly, I fully understand my father died last year. I arrived a few minutes too late and I can tell you now that that survivor guilt is something that most of us feel. So first of all, I want to normalise it for you a little bit. What you're feeling isn't something that you're feeling because you've done anything wrong. It's part of the grief process and it's about us desperately trying to figure out, could we have changed it? Could we have made a difference? Because if you think about just being a human, we're always trying to look at ways that we could save things from going wrong. So part of that is your brain going, right, well, if I'd just done this, maybe that would have changed the outcome. So you can see how we do that with our brains. We do that finding out where it's obviously futile and actually it's unhelpful but usually if it wasn't about death that's how we find solutions so know that that's a natural process on top of that you're absolutely right your sister would be mortified mortified if she thought she'd added to your depression she would be so upset so you acknowledge that yourself by bringing it in so just keep that thought there and keep reminding yourself the other side of it is and this is to be really pragmatic and to sound dead cold and i'm going to say that i'm going to sound cold saying this she she was dead So not going to the funeral, that's more about us having a healthy ritual. But the actual ritual is about you having those thoughts and feelings for your sister and loving her and still celebrating her. After all this is over and it's going to be over, you and your family need to have a celebration of life, surrounded by all the people that loved her, telling stories about her, reminding yourselves of what a wonderful human she was and connecting as a family and reminding yourselves of the wonder of still having the family that remains. That, for me, would be something really powerful that you need to do. Helen? Uh, Yeah, I'm sorry about your dad, by the way. Um, Yes, I I, I understand and I I know that when we have the celebration, that will be a, a lovely thing and... I know she wouldn't have wanted me to put myself at risk, so I will try and move forward with that. Thank you. And thank you. And I, I, I think that's a brilliant idea. If you, if you look forward to that celebration, because as Emma rightly said, we will get through this and try and look forward to that, perhaps rather than looking back at what has occurred. And also, you can't change, Helen. You cannot change. Thank you. Good luck to you and all you're going through.